Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so this is your weekly general uh, with me. Remember, this is for everybody. It's kind of like the general energy trend and theme that we're going to be experiencing over the course of the week. And uh, whether you are a new or continued subby, you absolutely know I love you for it. Um, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if it, you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. So, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So, uh, let's have a look, see, right, what is the destiny card for the week ahead? I'm going to do things ever so slightly different this week. So, uh, if you've been here for a while, things are about to change. All right, for our destiny card, we have the High Priestess, right? Now, uh, yes, I have forgotten to talk about the uh, the message, right? And this week, the message was liberate liberation comes through uh, freedom and self-confidence. So this is the week where you need to own and claim your brilliance, whatever that might be. This is a week where self-conscious, you know, self-conscious tendencies and all of that, this is a week where you're going to have to let that stuff go. This is about leading by example. It's about showing who you truly are and showing up in that way. This is really asking you, this whole week is going to ask you to illuminate what and who you are from within and bring that out into the world. This is not a time for you to be self-conscious. This is a time for you to really stand up and be counted. And it's a time for you to claim your freedom and your liberation in any way that or shape or form that that speaks to you. Whether this is in your work, whether it's in your relationship, whether it's in your personal life, whether it's in your family ties, your friendship circle, like wherever it is in your life that you feel like you are maybe not downtrodden or anything like that, but certainly if there is anything like that, yeah, this would be a week where you know, you're know you looking to reverse that. But more importantly, this is about you really just kind of doing what you do to the best of your ability, but in a way that is not even about being shameless. It's more about not being self-conscious. This is a week for self-confidence. So wherever it is in your life that you have that one thing that makes you feel confident, that makes you feel able to kind of really... Um, what's the word to you know to really own your brilliance or to stand in your own power you need to take that this week and you need to turn it up to you know crank up that dial this is a week for you to truly own your brilliance to stand in your power and the only way that you're going to do that this week is having confidence in yourself this is about having belief this is a week to free yourself in some way shape or form so our destiny card is the high priestess. What is your intuition? What is our collective intuition saying? Um, remember as well, <laughs> we're just off the back of a full moon this week. So um, what I find really interesting is that the uh, on the first of this month, obviously we've got Venus coming into Aquarius, but more importantly, just before that Mercury actually went retrograde. Um, this I think is gonna be a week where we have a grand reveal. Remember the high priestess isn't just about your your intuition she brings hidden things to light she brings things that we weren't aware of didn't know things that had happened behind the scenes this week we are going to have some sort of a grand reveal or some kind of a secret is going to be revealed to all of us uh, this is on a personal level yes absolutely it may be even something that you're choosing to reveal about yourself uh, and on the other side of this as well I kind of feel like when we're talking about the wider world stage this week we are very likely to see some sort a big secret or some sort of knowledge or information that we weren't privy to you know as a collective let's say us sort of you know average joe blogs uh, on the you know <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the lower end of the spectrum or whatever this week we're going to come into some sort of knowledge that we didn't have before how we feel about that what it does what it says to us it's going to be interesting to see. Let's see if we can have a look at what that might be. And more importantly, let's see how we can use the energy of the High Priestess, um, you know, through the direction cards. So we're going to pull three from now on. So we've got the Six of Swords. We have the Sun card and we have the Strength card, right? So beautiful. 
uh, what I love about this, right? The first of all, uh, for those of you that are making travel plans this week, you can go ahead with it. Um, this is a really good week to to plan travel. Maybe not necessarily, because obviously we've got the Mercury retrograde, to plan travel. This is a really good time to do the research, to put all the bits and bobs together, for sure. Now, your Six of Swords, coupled with the Sun card, that is literally a journey to, uh, to, you know, to a warmer climate or to a hot place in some regard. The fact that we've got this coupled with, or, you know, con combined with, with, let's say the strength card um, this is about literally a journey that will take place in the month of August so for a lot of you it looks like you're planning something to happen in the summer or in the summer holidays for those of us in the northern um, and I can tell you with these cards not only will the plans be good but the likelihood that you are able to travel around uh, July going into August is very very high so I'm going to make that prediction right here right now and tell you by the time we get to uh, July going into August we will be able to travel uh, things will be a lot lighter than they are at this moment that we've experienced up until now so that's one way we can look at this in terms of what we can do this week this is about looking ahead to brighter times and really again you know I was talking about that whole self-confidence thing and then look at that we get the sun card and the strength card this is about really owning up to your brilliance and for a lot of people I think for all of us in some way shape or form this is going to highlight to us where we have energy that is not being used where we have energy that we're maybe you know we've said okay you know I'm going to use that as a, a store of energy for a later date well that later date is here this is a week to be bold it's a week to be brave and it's a week to really think about what it is that you want at that heart is uh, uh, that uh, little there's that Mercury retrograde in full swing for me where it's happening in the sign of Aquarius as many of you know I am an Aquarius Sun um, and this one man the amount of times I've had to restart videos and you know I never really do that I leave all of the the breaks and the pauses but some of them have just been ridiculous so <laughs> hence that the other way that you can use this as a direction this would be six of swords right looking towards better or easier times coupled with the sun card this is about finding the bravery and the energy or coupled with the strength card finding the energy and the bravery that you need in order to make a step forward there's something that a lot of people look to be bringing out into the limelight this week or certainly are planning to uh, and this would be a week to go ahead with it one thing that i will say to you as well in terms of um because remember the sun card always he it heightens energies diminishes challenges and the fact that we've got these with that high priestess there I think this week we are going to see some form of development around or within the travel industry and I think we're going to be seeing something take place over in Europe so I'm going to call it at countries like France uh, Italy and Spain I think we're going to be hearing something about those places in the world this week so for our um, insight cards what's coming in here what, what might we need to know or to be aware of Ooh. okay so we've had a jumping card that's one of them I'm gonna stop there so the jumping card was the ten of Pentacles with the king of cups and with the high the hierophant right so what's one thing that we're gonna see here this week we're gonna see some sort of development with um, either the housing industry so anything to do with either possibly it could be the construction industries we might be hearing something about those or this could literally be about homes uh, what I will say as well there's going to be a lot of news there's gonna be a lot of uh, information a buzz this week about the financial sectors or industries don't be surprised if if we're hearing about banks this week uh, all kinds of things will be coming up here um, and because we've got the king of cups in the middle there I think this is going to be a week where in many ways we're going to start to see what not only what the divide truly is but we're going to start to really think about or we're going to start to see a drive towards some of the bigger solutions um, I would definitely keep an eye on the, the financial sectors or industries over the course of this week because I think we're going to be seeing something revealed. Uh, that could be one way that this plays out, um, especially because we've got the high priestess that's infusing all of this, right? Uh, and also, 
you've got the, the Sun card and the Strength card uh, coupled with the Six of Swords, but then obviously you've got this King of Cups here as well, which tells me, because you've got the Hierophant here as well, right? We are going to see something happening with a prominent figure this week, and it will have something to do with money and finances. For us as a, an insight sort of triplet, let's say, I get the sense that this week um, we are going to start really thinking about what uh, what defines luxury and more importantly how is that uh, you know how is the divide really starting to show up in the world I think this is going to be a very very interesting week for sure especially given that this is the message right so if you see some sort of big display or demonstration this week don't be surprised uh, with that said let me know do you like the new layout do you love it do you loathe it how does it speak to you um, and as always when you see this show up in the world I love it when you guys post links to articles or uh, videos or video snippets or news snippets to say like you know you talk about this and here it is i love it when you do that because it shows me and you guys that you know we tend to be in the kind of in the right realm let's say with that said i wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week take care and i'll see you soon